Hey Virgo, welcome into the Gifted Hammer if you're new to the channel. What is up? My name is Leela. I'm also a Virgo. I reside in London, UK. If you'd like to in the comment section below, let me know where you reside. I'm always intrigued to know my viewers are from. So I'm going to use this lovely deck to do an inventory spread. It's going to pick up on past, present and future energies. Please remember to smash the thumbs button if you find that the reading resonates with you. Or is insightful in any way. I really do appreciate it. You can also book me for a personal catch me for life tarot. Follow me on the socials and connect with me, my fellow Virgos. So two more shuffles for Virgo. Inventory spreads. And we'll do jumpers. We'll wait for jumpers to come out. How y'all doing anyway? You know. Thank you for the continued love and support. I appreciate you guys wholeheartedly. Oh, ten of wands on the bottom of the deck. Too much work, accepting help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. I mean, I know the grey hairs on my head that I see popping up. <laughs> I think, like, uh, maybe a lot of Virgos, you guys, you know, you have got a lot of responsibilities. At times, life can be heavy and feel like a struggle. But um, keep pushing. That's what I say. Keep pushing. Because look what we have behind here. The world. There's so many milestones. There's so much to achieve, I reckon. So, past energy for Virgo. Three cards for the past energy for Virgo. Past energy for Virgo. What are the energies for the past? See, my angels don't even want to bring up the past. <laughs> so, wow. We have the, the death card and the queen of pentacles. One more card for the past energy. The world card. Wow. So, this is major, I think. So, I feel like in the past, could have been yesterday, could have been last week, last month, last year. Take it as it applies. Um, you really let go of something or you went through some sort of personal transition, some sort of personal change. You decided to say goodbye and hello. Now, you could have said goodbye to someone or some a way of living. Only you would know. But um, I feel like, yeah, released. You released something here. The end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. So I feel like that's what you did. You moved on from something here. Okay. And you took the sensible approach. Make time for those around you. Taking a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Yeah, so... That, that that's what you were dealing with and in comes the world a job well done joy contentment and gratitude the path towards enlightenment so the energy really does look good in the past energy you let go of something you released something and you took the sensible approach okay now this could have happened towards the beginning of the year and you decided to release something here hmm so let's get into current energy for Virgo. What is the current energy for Virgo? Wow, guys, look, we have the sun card. Like it's so worn and torn, this card. A lot of happiness. Happy outcomes, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself, Virgo. Brilliant ideas that lead to success. So maybe now's a heightened time. And maybe you've been thinking about stuff. The joy of the sun card. The yes card. One and nine. Add that together. You get ten. Right? Which is completion. So let's get more for the current energy for Virgo. What is the current energy? Communication's good. Life is good. The sun is shining perhaps. Whether it's literally happening or not. Three of Cups. This is lovely. Just got Three of Cups on your other reading. Go check that out. One more card for the current energy for Virgo. One more card for Virgos. Mm. 
So one more card. I feel like, yeah, with those two cards coming out, the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Wands, I think like, like a lot of you are starting to see shit for what it is. Let releasing shit, not no longer giving a fuck what other people think, or at least trying to do that. Maybe you battle with that at times. One more card for current energy for Virgo. Justice card wanting to come out here. The moon card. Wow. So I don't know which one wanted to come out. I think with justice and the moon card, you know, stand up for yourself, face your fears, because when you come out on the other side, it's going to be so much more worth it. So the sun card says a happy outcome, really new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself, Virgo. Three of cups, a celebration, a wedding, a graduation or a birth announcement. The need to have more fun. You know you need that fun. So whether you're having fun or not, I feel like it's definitely on the agenda in some area or not, right? Oh, focus, man. Why you don't want to focus? <laughs> Doesn't want to focus for me. That's fine. I can adapt. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, some sort of reason to be happy. You know, whether you're finding it, or going after it. Important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. Okay, that's big energy with regards to. Oh, I don't know why my anti focus is not on anymore, but yeah. Uh, fear of the unknown, confused about something, pay attention to your dreams. Because we've got some important psychic insights that's going on right now. So, future energy. Future energy for Virgo. What is the future energy for Virgo? Nice. We got the renewal card, which is the judgment card. We got the queen of cups. One more card for the future energy for Virgo. So, one more card for the future energy for Virgo. One more card for the future energy for Virgo. So, it says review and evaluate. Oh, this is fantastic. Review and evaluate a favourable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Okay. So there's renewal going on here. Protecting your family. Maybe there's like a new phase in your life right now with regards to family. You know, even kind of seeing your mortality and life, right? Coming to some sort of realization. And as it says, renewal, a new phase in your life. Coming to some sort of, say, not say lovey, some sort of clarity, Seeing shit for what it is. And I think a lot of you are going to be choosing love. Okay. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition at this time. And care for yourself and others. So choosing love. Being patient. Tender hearted. Understanding. Loving. Realizing that love is the answer maybe. And maybe I sound a bit soppy and, and so forth. But look what we have here. With all this love become you bring all this love a time or you bring all this luck a time of positive change a situation suddenly moves forward fortune is on your side this is nice making the sacrifices to get to to where you're going to because it does look very promising i promise you <laughs> you know and life is good it seems there's so much to be happy happy for so don't let fear confusion hold you back just go with it go with the ride of life the wheels of life the wheels always turning and it seems to be turning in your favor you know you have the wheel card here the world card you have the death card the sun card you have the judgment card with the major changes going on here right now major changes and you are coming to to realization that life is for living life is about love 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 is a powerful tool to to remain positive and grateful for the little things you know when once you give off love it comes back to you tenfold right so i'm going to get you an oracle message from the amanda lovelace for virgos what is the message for virgos today 
and all of that jazz. Thorns. So this is exactly the thorns. Weave together the crown that you deserve. So this is about getting up every morning and, and, and you know, getting up and getting on with it. Trying to be kind to yourself and you're a queen or a king in your own right. But not only that, you're building others up, you're inspiring others. It's not about, about yourself, it's about others as well. Community, growth, such a loving energy. Voyage, I like this, it's almost like travel. You already have all of the answers. You know exactly what it is you want, where it is you want to go in life. Writing your own story, your own scripts. Not being influenced by others. Because you already know what it is that you want. And the majority of you Virgos are such cool people. Don't doubt your worth. It came up I think yesterday as well. Don't doubt what you're capable of. What you bring to the table. Right? So that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed that reading. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if you find that it resonated with you in any way. As always... Be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you, Virgo. I'm out of here.